Okay, hello. Hello, 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 everybody. We are going to be talking about my unpopular vegan opinions. We're going to ignore this whole look right now. This dress is a little too big, and frankly, I'm so stressed out from doing as much as I'm doing right now that sometimes just popping on like a neutral eye look and a red lip is like the best I can do. Um, before today I hadn't washed my hair in over a week, so you're getting a clean hair day. And I'm gonna try to post still twice a week on my main channel. I'm doing the best I can. I had a video filmed for Sunday, but just like didn't post it, so I will be going up next Sunday. But today we're talking about my unpopular vegan opinions. And I hope that this comes across as nice as it possibly can. Hopefully, I don't want to, like, I just don't want, I hope that this doesn't offend too many people. But I, I've seen these videos floating around and I really just wanted to give you my kind of two cents on it because I feel like, why not? So if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Megan. I have been vegan for nearly five and a half years, I want to say. I think just over five, um, yeah, just a little over five five years of some change and I feel like the the vegan community has changed a lot in the time that I've been vegan and maybe one day I'll make a whole video as to why I went vegan but that is not this video I'm just giving my unpopular opinions but I do think that the like so many people are like becoming ex-vegan which I don't love the term of and all of that and I don't know if I would actually consider myself fully vegan I'm doing the best I can to clean up my makeup and make sure I'm gonna I'm getting only vegan products and my skincare but you know I'm just not really there completely yet I've had a lot of progress in the last couple of years um but so you can call me vegan you can call me plant-based whatever it is what it is so my first unpopular opinion which I know is very unpopular because I haven't really met and heard many people talk about it and that is I don't think that being vegan is the healthiest diet on the planet like i'm not saying it's not healthy and it it can be very very healthy but anything in moderation and i think any diet can technically be healthy i think that saying that vegan is the only healthy diet out there is kind of wrong because i think not everybody has the desire to go vegan and i think that that's okay i know that kind of leads me to my sex, second unpopular ping, opinion. I don't think that everybody on the planet should be vegan. I don't think it's feasible and I really think that vegans should reevaluate how they feel about that because I don't think in my personal opinion that is an obtainable situation for everybody on the planet to be vegan. And let me tell you why. I was very fortunate enough to go up in Los Angeles. There's a lot of vegan options here. I go out at least once a week. I don't really eat um, out very often because I have chronic illnesses and I, yeah, just the whole, the whole thing just becomes a nightmare. So I'm very fortunate to be in a situation like that. But when I first went vegan, I lived in Ohio. There was no vegan options at that point. And honestly, it was very, very hard. And my relationship with food definitely suffered because, well, I'd already had a complicated relationship with food, but then it suffered even more because it wasn't like I could like go out and like get food all the time. So I just want to like point that out there on planet Earth. Like I don't think that ever, the vegan community should be forcing or trying to force everybody on the vegan community or being vegan on everybody. Number three, I think kind of along this vein as well, I, I don't think that we should only be forcing the health side of being vegan on people or the environmental side or the ethics route because I think everybody goes vegan for different reasons. So for me, and maybe one day I'll make a video all about being vegan and why I chose to be vegan, it was more for the health aspect and then over time, I'm a really big person on trying to save the environment. I do the best I can. I'm definitely not zero waste. I was doing pretty well on like the low waste and then coronavirus happened, so yeah. 
but I try my best to be as low waste as I can and buy locally and all of that but I am definitely not perfect and I will never claim to be because I don't think I'll ever be able to be like completely zero waste it's just I just don't think that's going to happen uh, but I think everybody goes vegan for different reasons and I don't think there's one right reason but I think we should all be educated on all of them and then people can make their decision and whether they choose to be vegan or not or just simply eat more plant-based I'm actually okay with that I don't think like like my other point my other unpopular opinion I don't think everybody needs to be vegan or plant-based I think that people need to make decisions on their own and what's right for them and what fits in their lifestyle because to be honest like being vegan isn't hard by any means like i find it super easy but i think it can be very daunting and if you just start out with like being plant-based a few days a week and then work your way up maybe eventually you'll be fully plant-based i don't think it's like realistic for everyone to just be vegan or plant-based cold turkey and i think educating people on all of their options is like very important because otherwise we're not really doing our jobs so number four i feel like it's kind of a repeat but i have a different reason behind it i don't think that everybody i guess should be vegan but i know i already talked about that but let me let me explain that there's a difference so previously i said it's not like feasible or attainable or like i'm saying more so in that like I don't think that everybody on the planet should be vegan and I know that's very unpopular. The reason I say that is because if you eat less meat, then less harm is done, okay? Now do I agree with harming animals? No. And I wouldn't do it. I would not choose to be not vegan at this point. Like I would not give that up like i love being vegan it's part of my life but if there's less harm being done i would be a lot happier than where we're at now which like people at least here in america have to like they consume animal products at every single meal so i would just like us to be at a point where people are eating more plant-based options and more plant-based meals rather than eating meat at every single meal because then less harm is being done to the animals and we have less animals being slaughtered for human consumption so i don't so in that kind of same vein i just don't think that like is it really realistic for everyone to be vegan no and i've already pointed that out but i also don't think that we all like it just kind of like i would much like i'd much prefer us to take baby steps and get our consumption of animal products down before we're like forcing everybody to be vegan better for the environment better for the animals better for your body like it's all it's all relative okay and my last unpopular opinion i think especially in the vegan community people are very judgmental about people who like eat a plant-based diet but maybe not every aspect of their life is vegan so i get a lot of judgment because not every skincare product not every product i own is vegan now some of the things that i have i've had for years probably need to get rid of my makeup collection that i've had for years but i don't think it's realistic for everyone to completely like i as i buy products i do buy vegan products now with that being said, do, do every skincare product and every makeup product I own, is it vegan? No. Because there are things I've had for years that I just have sentimental attachment to. I don't necessarily use it because they're old. But I try my best to be as cautious as I can with that. But at the end of the day, like I'm a makeup lover and it's really like I want desperately want every company out there to be vegan and cruelty free and at this point i only buy things that are cruelty free i do not buy things that are tested on animals but the vegan part is the hard part for me i do the best i can and i have really tried to get that under control in the last year or so so i just i don't know i think that there's so much judgment when it comes to people buying products that aren't vegan and that like every part of their life is not vegan like 
we're all doing our best. Like, it's not my fault that there's not enough market out there. Like, and yes, like, as a consumer, I really need to be purchasing those things that are vegan. And I'm doing the best I can. Guys, like, I am not perfect by any means. And I'm, you know, I'm trying the best I can and making the choices that I rationalize each choice and each thing. But I think that, especially in the vegan community, there is so much judgment on that. And I think we really need to stop the judgment. Okay? This is my last and final unpopular vegan opinion. I don't know why it's taking me so long to make this video. But I do think that, like, it's important. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you think. I feel like maybe some, some of you guys feel the same. I don't know. But I will see you next time. I love you guys. Bye!